In 2016, Acura gave us the precision concept. It gave us a sneak peek into the future designs of their vehicles, the chicane lights, the jewel headlights, the diamond pentagon grill, and so much more. Now we have another precision concept, this time previewing the EV future for Acura. <laughs> Starting with the press release, Acura Precision EV Concept, the only thing that's different in terms of the name between this one and the old one is the inclusion of EV. This will preview the brand's future design language for electrified era. Now it's not that much different than a couple years ago, Lexus had the LFZ electrified concept and we have the, now the RZ coming out later this year, early next year, and it doesn't look quite like it, but you can see certain design elements. That's what's happening here for Acura now with this EV electric concept. Today we have teasers of it, which we'll break down, but it will be fully revealed on August 18th at Monterey Car Week. I won't be there for that one, but Acura invited me to New York later this month to see this vehicle hands-on. So definitely stay tuned because I will be giving you guys my impressions, what it looks like, what it feels like in person, and maybe some things that I pick up on from the Acura team and also just seeing this car in the flesh that it can't be portrayed over press releases and images and videos. So there's a static image here, but we're not gonna focus on this because this video is where the magic is. I'm gonna make sure it's mute. Well, I'll play it once with some vol volume for you guys so you can hear it. It's pretty cool sounding, and then we'll run through. Okay, so there's actually quite a lot here. Other than this like digital Acura image coming up, which is pretty amazing. I'd love to have that for like the intro of my Acura made videos. Anyways, okay, so this, this concept starts with the uh, illumination of the Acura badge. That's nothing new. We've seen this, heck, it's even a, a dealer installed option on the new Integra. So that's gonna be carried forward and it might even be standard here on um, EVs going forward. Now, it's kind of hard to tell, but we have this outline of the Diamond Pentagon grill. Um, and it looks like it's textured before it's even illuminated. Uh, we also have a strong line on the on the upper part of the doors here that I don't remember seeing on an Acura product. And you can also see a strong hood line here that uh, I don't remember. It almost reminds me of like the QX55 and the QX50 from Infinity, the strong hood line. But this hood line flows very aggressively into the line on the side of the body as well. We also have uh, side mirrors that aren't really mirrors, they're just cameras. Is that going to be a thing in the United States? Because as of right now, it's illegal. Don't, don't expect that, at least not in the next few years. Eventually, we'll have side mirrors that are digital via, via cameras, but until then, uh, it's just kind of a concept here in the States. So uh, we also have these huge wheels. In the original Precision concept, we had 22-inch wheels. These are at least 22s, maybe even bigger, because this vehicle looks more like a crossover than it does, uh, let's say, a sedan or something. So we have these diamonds lighting up, kind of like a ripple away from the Acura badge. It looks really, really cool. You got to keep in mind that Acura's first EV is going to share so much with the Cadillac Lyric, which I've heard it's an amazing vehicle from my colleagues out there. And then we also have a bar at the very bottom. So we'll talk about the Acura or the Cadillac Lyric in today's video in terms of powertrains. Will we see a very similar front end for the first ever Acura AV? I think so. And I think we'll, we'll see, um, even though it won't be identical, we'll see a pretty cool light show because Cadillac Lyric has a startup light show with its illumination on the front end of the vehicle. To me, it's a little gaudy. Um, Acura seems to be a little bit more classy. That's just me. But I'm, I'm obviously biased because they cover mainly Japanese and Korean cars. We also have, once the grill is fully illuminated, we have the daytime running lights that illuminate um, kind of from the center to the outside of the vehicle. And now that the daytime running lights are fully illuminated, you can see the next generation of chicane styling. This uh, kind of check mark, it almost reminds me of like an EKG line, very uh, similar to the tail lights we see, let's say on the new MDX, for example, these check mark lights that look awesome. So now they have an even a stronger presence with that rear tail light 
that mimics it now on the front headlight display. Then we also have this glittering down here. The glittering, the sparkling of the stars is pretty much, or like a disco ball. However you want to say it, it looks really, really cool. We're going to play it back. Is it a little over the top? Yeah, but this is an EV concept. Are we going to see something similar by the production? Well, given the Cadillac Lyric, I think there's a good chance, but it's pretty cool overall. Uh, you can see a little bit more detail on those wheels there. Um, and it's hard to say, but we have kind of like a silver outline at the bottom of the vehicle. It looks like we actually have a parking sensor here. So if you have parking sensors on a concept, is that, no, it's just a, it's just a bubble. It's just a bubble in uh, the camera lens. So it's actually not a parking sensor. But if you look at the wheel arches, they almost look to be paint matched. Um, the same color, it's almost kind of like this ripple here. They look to be paint matched where the very bottom of the vehicle looks to have this silver finish to it. Uh, do we see anything else here at the end? No, nope, just to the Acura logo. So what about the EV spreadsheet? If we scroll on down to the Cadillac Lyric here slash whatever the Acura version is going to be called. Uh, we have the base rear wheel drive Lyric at 340 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque, has a 100 kilowatt hour battery, zero to 60 in five and a half seconds. That's pretty darn fast for a large SUV. Range is over 300 miles. And at 63K, well, they're all sold out at this point, but at 63K, which includes destination, you also have to keep in mind, uh, unlike well, the, the tax credits is going to be changed. So all these cars are going to have tax credits. Now I need to update that spreadsheet. So this vehicle after the tax credit will be more like 57, 58 K. And then we'll also have a super handling all wheel drive variant with 500 horsepower. It can also be dubbed the type S model. And, and if we go back to this, this base entry level model, this is the first rear wheel drive Acura since we've had since the original NSX, the first gen NSX. Pretty crazy, right? Acura has always been front wheel drive or all wheel drive, excluding the NSX. Uh, so if we talk about this all wheel drive Lyric slash Acura EV, uh, that will be available in 2024, mind you, possibly by the end of 2023, at least unveiled by the end of 2023. It'll have 500 horse, 477 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 under five seconds. Uh, this is roughly the same speed that I just tested and, and this is an estimate, by the way, I believe. This should be about as fast as the XC40 recharge that I drove, but in a much larger package. Therefore, more power, more torque, bigger battery. So it's going to weigh heavier. Anyways, uh, 67K, but after the tax rebate, around 60K. Pretty exciting, even though it'll share the motors, uh, the powertrain, uh, and the, the safety feature technology, which those are all good things. From, from General Motors and Ultium, their Ultium platform with LG. I'm really interested to see how the exterior and interior designs change from those Cadillac EVs. I had the Kia EV6 in my driveway a couple of weeks ago. Now my driveway is at Ionic 5, and they feel very similar to drive, like pretty much identical, but the exterior and interior are very, very different and unique to each car. And I'm expecting that not only for this Acura version of the Cadillac, but also for Honda's Prologue, which is going to be the same sort of treatment of the Blazer EV. It'll have the same powertrain, same battery, uh, exterior, interior will have its very unique own styling to it. But I got to shut it down. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe for more Acura news and reviews, especially for my hands-on walk around of this EV precision concept from Acura in New York. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and the ones around you and peace out.